Yo, what's good boys, it's Kieran TV back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the best FPS and best visibility in Caldera. The first thing you want to do boys is go to your search bar, you want to type in percentage, temp, percentage, and you just want to delete everything in this file. And then make sure you clear the recycle bin as well. Next thing you want to do boys is go to the search bar again, you want to type in run, then you want to type in temp in here as well without the percentage. And you want to delete everything in this folder as well. Next thing you want to do boys, you want to go into the link in the description. And you want to download CC Cleaner. You want to go to Custom Clean. You want to just click Analyze and Run Cleaner. You want to do this like three times. It's just going to clean up files that Windows doesn't need anymore. Next thing, if you're on Nvidia, you want to go to Control Panel. By right clicking your desktop. And then for Visibility, you want to go to Adjust Desktop Color Settings. You want to put your digital vibrance up a bit, this is just going to make your game a lot more colourful and enemies will stand out a lot more as well. You can also increase your gamma a little bit if you want, mine's on 1.05. Next thing you want to do is you want to come up to manage 3D settings. You just want to copy my settings right here. So I'll scroll down and you'll just want to copy all these settings right here. Prefer maximum performance for power management mode and texture filtering. These are the two main ones that you want. You want both of these in high performance. If you do have a G Sync monitor, boys, you want to put on V Sync right here. You want to put that on. And then you want to scroll up to low latency mode and you want to make sure this is off. And then you can come to G Sync right here, set up G Sync. You want to make sure this is enabled, set for full screen, and then tip this box right here. Make sure it's for the right monitor that you're using. Next thing is you want to come to the search bar again and you want to type in game mode. You want to make sure game mode's enabled. And you want to go to game bar, you want to disable this and you want to disable captures. And then you want to come to the bottom again and type in GPU. This will bring up graphic settings. And you want to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Next thing you want to load up Battle.net. You want to come to the top right here where the logo is. You want to scroll down to settings. You want this on game launch to exit Battle.net completely, the bottom option. Then you want to scroll down and you want to disable hardware acceleration. You just want to click done. Whilst we've got Battle.net open, boys, you want to come to the settings cog where the play button is for Warzone. You want to click that, click game settings. You want to tick this box right here for command line arguments. You want to type in this dash D3D11 and you just want to click done. And you want to click the settings cog again, click show in Explorer. You want to click the Modern Warfare folder, scroll down, Properties, Compatibility, Disable for Full Screen Optimizations, click Change High DPI Settings and then tick this box right here. Make sure this is on Application as well. Then just click Apply and OK. You want to do the same for the launcher as well boys. Disable Full Screen and then tick this box. And just click OK, Apply and OK. Next thing, this is for people who use Discord, you want to come to settings and you want to come to voice and video. You want to scroll down, you want to disable hardware acceleration here as well. Then you want to scroll down even further and go to advanced. You want to disable hardware acceleration here as well. Also, if you use Spotify, you want to open up Spotify, click the three dots. Hover over view and make sure this is unticked. For people that use Google Chrome, you want to come to the three dots on the top right, click Settings, go to Advanced, go to System, and then Disable Hardware Acceleration here as well. That's everything for the Windows settings boys, now we can jump into the game. Right, so once the game's loaded up boys, you want to come to Options and go to Graphics. You want Displayed Mode on Full Screen. You want your Refresh Rate on whatever your monitor's Refresh Rate is. Leave your Render Resolution on 100. The only reason I'd lower this is if you're on a really low spec computer. You want to scroll down and you want to put your brightness on anywhere between 51 and 55. Uh, and then you want to put reflex low latency and enable plus boost. And we can move over to quality. Alright, so for field of view, the higher FOV you have, the lower FPS you get. But the higher FOV, the more advantage you have because you can see more. So it's better for visibility. So I'll leave mine on 120. If you're on control, I'd put this on 110 because I'm pretty sure if you're on a higher FOV, you get less aim assist with controller. Uh, camera movement, you want this on 50%. Streaming quality, you definitely want this on low. This is very important. 
Extra resolution, you want this on normal. I wouldn't put it any lower than this, otherwise your textures are going to be like really slow to load in. Filter anisotropic, this doesn't really affect FPS much, but I'll put it on low anyways. Particle quality, definitely put this on high. If you don't have this on high, your game will be very, very blurry. Uh, bullet impacts in spears, you definitely want this off because if you run into a room with them mannequin spears in the wall, you won't see it if you have this disabled. So, if you're an absolute sweatbox like me, definitely disable this. Tessellation, you want this disabled. Uh, dismembering and gar effects, you want this disabled. And then find them on texturing, you want to enable this. You want to put limited, then you want to put these all the way at the bottom, and then you want to disable it again. And you want to clear your texture cache as well. Uh, film strength, you want this on 1, film grain, you want this on 0, anti-elysian, you want this off, depth of field off, motion blur, you want these both off, uh, shadow map resolution, put this on low or normal, you can test out this in game and see whatever works best for you, I personally leave mine on low, uh, cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows, you want these both enabled, particle light and low, ray tracing, you definitely want this off, ambient occlusion disabled, screen space reflections, you want this disabled as well. Under the interface tab, subtitles you want this off, colorblind type, Ditronopia, this is what I use, I feel like you can see people better in the gash, just try it out. If you don't like Ditronopia, try out Trichinopia, if you don't like any of them, just turn it off. Uh, colorblind target, you want this on wild, tool tips, you want this disabled. Then you want to scroll down to hood, and you want your minimap shape on square. Under the audio settings, audio mix, you want this on boost high or boost low, try them both out and see what works for you. Uh, master volume, this doesn't matter. Music, you definitely want this in zero. Uh, dialogue volume, I'd put this down a little bit. Effects, definitely want this on 100. Leave this on 100 and if you want to change your volume, use this. Use master volume to change your volume. But make sure effects is definitely on 100. Uh, cinematics, I have this in zero. Turn off any music effects, so juggernaut music, you want this off. Hit marker, doesn't really matter. Mono audio, this is very important, make sure this is disabled and I put this on zero as well just in case. That's it for my settings boys. With these settings I get about 130 FPS, that's with a GTX 1070 which is a very outdated graphics card. Uh, the reason for this is because I use stretch resolution as well. If you do want to see a tutorial on stretch resolution, I will be making a video on that tomorrow so I'll put the link in the description. And if you want to watch any of my gameplay videos, uh, check out my channel. I'm going to be uploading twice a week at least. I'm currently the world record holder in solo quads. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you and I'll see you in a bit boys.